to my channel. My name is Elon Muscular and this is the third video in my new series called My Experience. In this video series I detail my experience with various diets, training principles, performance enhancing supplements and just any supplements or anything that I've tried along the time in my journey of bodybuilding, biohacking, whatever. In this video I'm going to be talking about the smart drug modafinil. Okay, this is something that I have a lot of experience with. And this is going to be the first all the way positive video about in the my experience series. Now I'm going to tell you about the positive benefits that I've gotten from using modafinil for over five or six years now and how it has impacted my life in a positive way as well as some of the negative side effects that I've gotten with modafinil and how I feel that you can better use it to avoid these negative side effects and only get the positive benefits of which this drug has so many. So just to take a step back, what is modafinil and why do people use it? Modafinil is a wakefulness drug that was created in order to help people with narcolepsy that was or shift workers or people who had basically trouble staying awake during the day and they needed to have something in order to promote wakefulness and keep them from falling asleep. That was the reason why this drug was created. It was not created to be a smart drug, it was not created to be a nootropic or to help people focus at all. So this is something that kind of made its way into Silicon Valley. People started to experiment with it. I don't know what the origin was or who the first person was who brought modafinil to the attention of people like this, but the person that exposed me to it was Dave Asprey from the brand Bulletproof. And Dave Asprey, you know, I was a fan of him maybe five, six years ago. He was going on a lot of different podcasts and talking about modafinil and how he credited it for a lot of his success, how it allowed him to work really long hours, press his appetite and help him achieve success during the dot-com boom a long time ago. So I started to think, wow, what is modafinil and could I possibly use it to help me reach my goals? So just a little bit about me and my background, I've always had struggle focusing, you know, ADD, and I took Adderall for a long time in order to help better focus and cope with that, especially when I got to college and to help me study for the SATs and stuff like that, I found Adderall to be incredibly useful. But I noticed that Adderall had a very negative impact on my health. I felt really bad after taking it, especially for multiple days in a row. And I did not feel that Adderall or any amphetamine based thing would be a sustainable solution for me to be able to have something that could help me focus. Caffeine obviously always helped me a lot, but I didn't want to be taking, you know, four to 600 milligrams of caffeine every single day in order to continually stay focused throughout the day. And I felt like it was also burning me out. So that is kind of how I found modafinil looking for a solution looking for something that maybe wasn't going to be so stimulant based and hype me up so much. I didn't want to have that, you know, response in my brain where I was getting super excited, felt like I was like at a party or something like a lot of the times you do when you take Adderall. I just wanted something to help me get that clear focus that I needed in order to do long blocks of time where I can work and, you know, get really deep into my work and make something that really was of high quality, which I am really all about. So let's talk about dosing modafinil. And this is one one of the biggest areas in which I think that a lot of people make a lot of mistakes and have a lot of negative side effects with modafinil that they don't need to be having. So modafinil typically comes in either 100 milligrams or 200 milligram pills, but more commonly 200 milligrams. And I believe that in some of the early interviews, Dave Asprey was even talking about taking two of these, so 400 milligrams of modafinil in a single day. Now I noticed that taking 200 uh, milligrams of modafinil for multiple days in a row, the first day it would feel really good but then as time went on I started to have headaches I started to feel dehydrated I was having trouble sleeping when it came time to sleep so I started to reduce my dosage now no one was really talking about reducing the dosage on modafinil no one was really talking about taking less than 100 milligrams of modafinil a day but I started to experiment I started to experiment with hundred milligrams a day and that was still too much for me so I moved it down to 50 milligrams a day and that I think I found a kind of sweet spot for myself. So nowadays, sometimes I will take 25 milligrams and some days I will take 50 milligrams. 
Now, I don't take modafinil every single day. I have, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I've taken it every day for the past five or six years that I've been using modafinil, but definitely during periods when I need to get a lot of work done and I'm in a serious time crunch, I will take modafinil for multiple days in a row in order to you know, be able to focus, stay in that flow, and really make high quality art or content or you know, uh, creating websites or any of the things that I do. It really helps me with my creative process as well as logically being able to reason. Now an issue that I've had with taking modafinil and I think that a lot of people have this issue is that you think that taking something that will help you focus is going to help immediately help you have better results with your performance. But what I noticed is that if you take something like a modafinil, Adderall, caffeine, or anything that stimulates you and gives you more energy, but you don't have a very set to-do list and a very you know organized task list of the things that you need to be knocking off in the time when you're enhanced in this state, it's going to it can completely backfire. So a lot of the times uh, in the past. I would take way too much modafinil and then spend the whole day, you know, listening to podcasts or playing video games or doing some of the things where my performance is enhanced. I'm able to understand more of the words of the podcast. I'm taking notes. Things are super interesting. I'm learning or I'm playing games and my performance is super high. You know, I have been top Masters League in StarCraft 2 and, and taking modafinil to help me with my performance in that and learning more about the game and stuff like that. And that's really not the context in which you want to be taking these sort of, uh, you know, drugs that help to enhance your cognition because ultimately these are things that are fun and that you should be able to do without having to take anything to do them. Even if you have ADD or you have trouble focusing, you're never going to have trouble focusing on playing a video game. So you want to make sure that if you're going to be using performance enhancing compounds or supplements in any context, whether it be bodybuilding or, you know, for mental performance, that you're going to actually be using those things to fuel performance and not just just to help you have more fun with certain or, or, or certain things like that. At least you don't want to make it a habit. You don't want to make it a habit of taking it on the weekends or times when you really don't need to work. You don't want to be reliant on it in order to do your everyday tasks. And this is where I think that people run into issues with addiction. Although I would not call modafinil an addicting substance by any means. There's really no physical addiction. There's no uh, withdrawal. I would say it's even less than caffeine in a sense. Like you don't take it one day, you just don't take it. Nothing really happens. At least I've never experienced something like that. And I haven't seen anything like that in the research or heard anyone talk about anything like that. But you can become addicted to the focus and the constant energy that you have and then never take a break off this stuff. And I think that that is an issue because you will constantly be in this high adrenal state where it's going to be difficult to calm down and get that really good relaxation and recovery that you need to get good results in your life in general. So make sure that if you're going to be experimenting with something like modafinil that you're not going to be taking it every single day. So I mentioned uh, earlier in this video that modafinil was created for narcolepsy patients, but as time went on, people started to realize that this is something that people were taking off-label to help with focus and attention. So they started to study it for attention deficit disorder. And nowadays, doctors are actually prescribing modafinil uh, for attention deficit disorder, and it's starting to get more understanding and more research in this phase as a healthier alternative to amphetamine-based solutions like an Adderall or a Vyvanse or a, something like that. And I really do believe that this could be a really great solution for a lot of people who struggle with focus, you know, struggle with attention, struggle with mental clarity throughout the day. But again, you have to make sure that you are focused in the right direction when you're taking this stuff. You have your task list, you know what you're doing, you don't take enough, and also it synergizes with caffeine, so you don't have to take as much caffeine. 50 milligrams of modafinil and 120 milligrams of caffeine, I found is plenty for me and it keeps me going all day long. Now the last thing I wanna talk about is modafinil within the context of bodybuilding. Does it have a bodybuilding you know, use? Is there any place that modafinil can fit in in order to help you get a better physique? So for someone that's interested in intermittent fasting, and if you don't know about me, I really like intermittent fasting. I've been doing intermittent fasting during my diet phases for pretty much around the same time that I've been using modafinil, five or six years, and I recommend a lot of my clients to do intermittent fasting during a diet phase. I don't re recommend intermittent fasting during a mass building phase because it doesn't really make sense 
content, you need as much time in the day to get the protein synthesis. You know, if you're looking to put on muscle, it doesn't make sense to go periods of time without eating, logically speaking. But if you're looking to diet, I think it actually makes more sense to, you know, compress your meals into a smaller window so you could eat more during that time and then just not eat during the other time. But then that gives you an additional issue of what are you going to do during all the time that you're not eating. And that can be difficult, especially if you're like commuting to work or, or you have to do something extremely boring and periods where you're not eating, it becomes more difficult, you become more food focused and then you're thinking about food and then you're hungry and it ruins your fast. So the good thing about modafinil is that it really greatly suppresses your hunger and can synergize with caffeine to give you a huge uh, boost in energy without having to have those hunger pangs. So you can actually go a really long time without eating. If you take modafinil early in the morning, then wait three or four hours and then take caffeine. Now suddenly you have like a five, six hour window where you didn't eat after you woke up and then your, interfast, your intermittent fasting window is pretty much done. Now another thing that I've been experimenting with recently that you can add is try a little bit of nicotine gum after that. So modafinil, let's say at 9 a.m. and then a uh, coffee or some kind of energy drink at 12 p.m. and then around 3 p.m. having some nicotine gum and you can push your fast up to like 6, 7 p.m. if you're really deep into a diet and you're doing like one meal a day or something like that. So I think that for bodybuilding purposes, if you are on a diet, whether you are on an intermittent fasting diet or even a normal diet, it helps with appetite suppression. But what I have found on a normal diet is that, you know, when you take modafinil, and then you eat food and you have that insulin release, it kind of messes with that. Like I feel that it meshes better with kind of that hungry fasted state and the energy that you have. You get a much cleaner, long lasting energy out of the modafinil. This is just for me personally, I found that it has better results in terms of focusing and performance and everything like that if you stay hungry for longer while it's active in your system. I don't know the exact half-life of modafinil, but it pretty much lasts almost all day. So if you take it first thing in the morning, it should be wearing off just about the time that it's time for you to sleep. So it's very important to remember not to take this too late in the day. And if you forgot to take it and you still have a lot of work that you have to get done, sorry, there's really no way around it. Just use caffeine that day. Do not take it after 1 p.m. Um, because it's unless you're planning on going to sleep really late because it's just going to make it extremely hard for you to end up falling asleep. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something about my experience with modafinil. I'm not afraid to say that this is something that I really like and a drug that I think has a lot of different applications for a lot of different people and specifically uh, for a bodybuilder who's also an entrepreneur. I think it really helps because it helps push intermittent fasting. It helps keep appetite low. It helps on a diet. It helps with energy. It helps with focus. So this, unlike the other videos where I tell you that at the end of the day that I would not recommend these things and I don't see a use for these things, modafinil is definitely something that I do see a use for and I do think that as time goes on, more bodybuilders will start to understand you know, how useful this could potentially be in a dieting phase and replace more unhealthy things that they use such as like ephedrine or clenbuterol or anything like that. that different stimulants that are more harmful to the human body than modafinil, I think that this could have a lot of uses in bodybuilding and it really has not seen uh, the you know popularity in our sport and in our industry that I think that it deserves in terms of the positive benefits that it has. So if you like this video, make sure to check out Shredded Secrets of Fitness Influencers. The link is in the bio, okay? This is a free 30 minute mini course that I put together that talks about everything from diet to training to performance enhancements that fitness influencers like me and like some of the guys I talk to on my podcast, a lot of the guys that you see every single day that have great physiques, we use a lot of these type of things and organize them in a way in our lifestyle to make it super easy for us to stay lean, put on muscle, get our work done, and do all the things that we have to do throughout the day. So check out that because it will have so many resources that you've never heard of before. And if you learned something from this video, make sure to like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the Bodybuilding Lifestyle Podcast where we have longer in-depth conversations talking about our experience with everything in life. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.